Hi, this time tomorrow. When Andrew asked us to do this, my first thoughts were, we don't do much at the moment, so I didn't really know what we were going to say. But if you'd been asked to do this this time last year, we'd have been sitting having coffee with 10, 20, 30 people from the MS Society that we're very involved in. And that happens as us every Monday morning. So that would have been this time last year. However, like so many other things, this had to stop. Those of you that know us would know that we're going to find this very hard to be shut in and not seeing people, as we're also known as very busy people. The summer lockdown was okay, as we had the garden, but that's not an option at the moment. So tomorrow, what will we be doing? For me, soon after the restrictions were announced at the beginning of 2020, I joined the local craft group. And since then, I've been kept busy making things for those in need in our hospitals and care homes. These have included scrub bags that are needed for nurses for their uniforms. I've pre previously made gift bags for children when they were going to school for the first time back in September. And we're going to find it strange. We've made Christmas gifts that went to Age Concern and the hospitals and the care homes. And at the moment, we are busy making miniature red hearts that can be given to patients in hospitals and in our care homes for family members who cannot visit. So tomorrow for me will be more craft work and I'm so thankful that I'm able to help in some small way and that it's keeping me occupied. I can certainly say that I am busier now than we are in normal times. Ray. Hi. Just like Doc, all things would normally be done have gone out the window. We're not naturally a stay at home couple. We managed to master Zoom and other social media to keep in touch with friends and family. What will be done without it, I don't know. We have logged onto the church activities, joined a house group, which I can highly recommend. I even have managed to watch the occasional live football match on Amazon and now TV. No sky in our house, we're never been long enough to have it. I have caught up with some of the household jobs. What will we, I be doing this time tomorrow? I expect to be back in the spare room, working on the model railway. What I built some time ago certainly needed some attention. I felt a sense of achievement in how far I've got with this, and it certainly keeps me occupied. I think that tomorrow's job will be to go online to see if I can order the bits I need to continue with my improvements. One of my favourite verses is Philippians 4 verse 13. I can do anything through him who gives me strength. I just feel perhaps we could change that as a church that we can do everything through him who gives me strength. Thank you. Thank you.